In this presentation, we will take a look at the payroll tax expense journal entry focusing in on the employer portion of payroll taxes. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info. To do this, we will have a worksheet for the payroll tax expenses. We'll be using numbers from a register type worksheet but note that the payroll taxes for the employer portion are typically thought of as a worksheet outside of the register in that, in other words, the register is going to give us that information to get to net income from regular pay. And that uh, is going to be that type of worksheet which will help with the journal entry to record the payroll taxes for the employee portion that they owe but not the employer taxes or the employer taxes will typically have a separate worksheet where we will calculate the employer portion, which will be similar in some cases and differ in others. So let's take a look at the register. We're going to have the normal pay, the total pay. We've got four employees here represented by these four totals. We're looking at the total for the employees and we're going to be recording this information as a net sum rather than four different journal entries for each employee. Then we have what was taken out, OASDI, of the wages for the employees, the HI, Medicare, Social Security, Medicare, FIT, Federal Income Tax, Group Insurance, Union Dues, 401k, Net Pay. That's what uh, was taken out on the employee journal entry. Now we're looking at the employer tax journal entry, where we will also have, again, OASDI, our portion of Social Security, which will match the employee portion and note when i say our portion we're in we're going from the perspective that we are the employer here so we're the employer this is the employer portion our portion here which will match the employee portion same for the hi or the medicare this is going to be the employer portion that is due which will match the employee portion so those two there's going to be an employee and employer portion note that this is coming out of the paycheck Whereas this will be the same amount, but not coming out of the paycheck, and it will be coming out of the employer uh, checking account. And then we've got FUTA and SUTA. FUTA is going to be an employer-only tax. So this amount we don't see up here. We're probably less familiar with it. It's not coming out of net pay. We don't see it on our pay stub when we uh, get the calculations for our net pay. Uh, it will be coming out of the employer side. And then SUTA will differ from state to state, but they're related. We'll typically have, it will have an employer portion to it, and it may have an employee portion depending on the state. State laws could differ from state to state. So this is the one we're going to use in order to create our journal entry here. If we go to uh, this worksheet and start to build our journal entry based on a trial balance, what's going to happen is we're not going to pay cash. Our first question, is cash affected? Not yet. We haven't yet paid it we're incurring this uh, expense as payroll is being processed. So we will have a, a payable account, I mean an expense account, for the payroll taxes payable, and the other side of it will be the liabilities, what we owe. So we're going to owe OASDI, HI, FUTA, SUTA. We have not yet paid them because uh, we, haven't, we haven't gotten to paying them yet. So cash is not affected. We have a payable. We are incurring an expense. So here's the expense. This is going to be a debit balance. Expenses are. It's going to go up in the debit direction. So the first thing we can see is that expense. Now this is summing up uh, these four. I'll get to this total at the end uh, and we'll sum it up again. But just note that it will be an expense here increasing this amount. Also note that this is the uh, payroll tax expense which will be part of the payroll process but is different than uh, the salaries and wages expense. And this salaries and wages expense includes the payroll taxes that are going to be paid by the employee. In other words, this number that we're calculating for payroll taxes only is the employer portion of payroll taxes, does not include the employee portion. Then we're going to put a credit for everything that we're going to owe. Those will be liability accounts. So we've got accounts 215, which is the OASDI or Social Security, which will go up. Then we have the HI or Medicare that we're going to increase the liability for. Then we have the FUTA, Federal Unemployment Tax, which we're going to increase our liability for. These coming directly from our worksheet here to increase the liabilities. Then we're going to have the SUTA, 
which will uh, increase for the liabilities. We'll take a look now at the general ledger. So we're going to see this data now posted to the general ledger. So here's our journal entry. And if we look at the GL, we can see a little bit of detail. And it's, it's interesting to see some of the detail to some of these accounts. So if we were to look at the payroll expenses, we see that the payroll expense started at zero. And then we're going to debit it. So we're taking this debit down here, 4,733.48. And it's going to increase it to that balance of 4,733.48. And then we've got the uh, 215, which is OASDI, which we are crediting, 3,031.55. Here's the OASDI. Before this journal entry, it was at 3,031.55. We are increasing it by 3,133.55 in the credit direction to 6,063.10. Note that we, these two represent the employee portion, the portion we're not putting here on this journal entry, and then the employer portion. So we owe a total of the 6,063 after the employee and employer portion, uh, but we're focusing here on the employer tax uh, calculation or the employer journal entry. Then we've got the HI 708, same situations, Medicare. So it was at 708.99. We increased it by 708.99 in the credit direction to 1,417.98. So these two represent once again the employee portion and the employer portion then we've got the futa which is going to go from zero up in the credit direction by 125.38 to 125.38 and then finally suta which is going to go from zero up in the credit direction by uh, 867.56 uh, to 867.56 so those are going to be our components now these two of course only have and employee portion. So we don't see this doubling up as we do with the FICA taxes. These two only having one component, that being the employer side. So if we go back to our trial balance, we can see that we are in balance. We can see that the, the debits in non-bracketed or positive numbers minus the credits in bracketed numbers will uh, equal zero. That means debits equal the credits. The effect of this journal entry then is this increase to the payroll taxes expenses. It went from zero up to 4,733.48. So note that's going to be different than the salaries and wages expenses here, uh, which were recorded in the prior journal entry. And also note that this 48,896 for the employee journal entry, the one we're not doing here, includes the employee payroll taxes. So this is not the net check. This is this is total check. When we look at the payroll taxes, then. The only thing that's going to be in the payroll tax expense will be the employer portion that we paid for the payroll taxes. So that's an important thing to note, commonly, commonly mixed up. We can see up here that we have the OASDI, which is going to include both the employee and employer portion, these being liabilities that we will then have to pay to the Fed in the future. We've got the FUTA and SUTA, which are just coming from this journal entry. They're not twice that journal entry because they're just... Uh, coming from the employer portion only. For more accounting information and accounting courses, visit our website at accountinginstruction.info.